everybody and welcome back to Stacia Expert Mode. And in this episode, we create ourselves an extreme reactor to produce cyanide, which is the last ingredient that we need to make ourselves the ultimate ingot. And with that ultimate ingot now being able to be made, we also created creative storage. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be making ourselves our extreme reactor in hopes that we can make enough cyanide to be able to make ourselves an ultimate ingot. And if we have cyanide before the end of the episode, we'll set up the other craft to make an ultimate, uh, ultimate ingot now today. So to make ourselves our extreme reactor, we're going to have first, I think, just to make ourselves some basic casing. And we're going to upgrade it to reinforced casing because I think, I think the basic one can only do like a 3x3 three three or a maximum of 5x5. Five where I think then the reinforced one can do anywhere up to like seven by seven, up to like 13 by 13. I could be wrong. And uh, that's just what I think it is. Um, I have not much experience with this mod. Um, I think I have the other versions of it I have more experience with, but this version, not that much. So we need to set up basic reactor casing and that's gonna require black iron slates, steel armor plating, atomic alloy and ultimate control circuits. Uh, steel armor plating is steel, a steel. So I'm gonna have to set up a crafting recipe for that. And I did also update the pack, so a lot of textures have a bit have been changed. Especially the stone cobblestone brick from Quark. That has changed to a lighter shade of grey. And it's kind of got a different texture. I don't know if I like it. It's it's nice, but it's not what I'm used to. But anyway, so steel armor plating, and then we need to make ourselves um I think that's actually it then. So, put this in here. Actually, I think all these things are full. Oh, I put another one up here. Okay. Yes, uh, since we ran out of diamonds making all the singularities last episode, I went ahead and set up another dimension making uh, emerald blocks and diamond blocks. So I have the two of them set up right here. This guy's going to the diamond dim, which is this guy right here. And if I go through, there's a whole dimension made out of diamond blocks, which a builder is currently quarrying out. So yeah, we'll have infinite diamonds by the end of this and any other resource that I currently need, I'll just make another dimension for it. So it's not that big of a deal. And by the way, if I sound a bit stuffly or muffly, uh, I'm currently dying with allergies. So yeah, um, anyway, let's continue. So we need to make ourselves reactor glass. It's simple enough. Let's make one of those. This is basic glass. Never mind. I don't want that type of glass. I need uh, some regular glass. There we go. And... And all we need is our reactor computer, a reactor controller. Uh, these recipes are exactly the same. Huh. Uh, okay. We'll make one of those. Uh, we should have everything for that anyway. We just need to make one of them anyway. Uh, and then we are going to need ourselves some fuel rods. So fuel rods made like this. Get rid of this glass. Put this glass in. There we go. And uh, then we're going to need ourselves a control rod. So control rod made like this. Uh, that's graphite bar. I'm going to have to set up graphite to be made, which is a smelting coal in a furnace. So we'll do that now as well. And then we're going to need an access port. This is how we're going to input and output fuel and the waste. And then a power tap. And this is how we're going to output power that this thing will generate. Even though it's going to generate very little amount of power, we're just mainly doing it so we can have ourselves our cyanide. So graphite pattern goes in there. And then the rest of these patterns go up here. And there we go. So let's get to work on making our first reactor. So let's say we want reactor. So reactor casing. And let's go with ourselves a stack of this one. There we go. That's going to cost 128 black iron. Let's craft that. All right. There we go. Here's our 64 reactor casing. And now uh, I actually need to upgrade this one to reinforce. Now to do that, you just put it inside an energizer, which is a one by one. So let's say... This guy is going to be used in here to turn into this. So like that, put this back in the system and come all the way over here to our energizer, which is in the roof of this building. Put it in here. And now if we look up reactor casing, say craft a 64 and now it'll just craft it one by one. All right. So our 64 reinforced reactor casing is done. Uh, so the only thing we need to do now is actually go over and mark out the area that we're going to put it in. Uh, which is going to be over here at the power station, just on this little platform here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with like a special building for this thing because it's not going to necessarily be as useful. So let's make ourselves like a 7x7. Seven seven. This is currently a 5. 
Uh, should I go with a five? You know what? Actually, a five by five wouldn't actually be that bad. It's be definitely going to be better than a tree by tree. And it will also save on resources because this thing we don't actually have to have properly like running. Like Our reactors over the other place are doing way better because we're generating 15 million FE right now. So let's just do it like this. So let's fill in the back. And we're going to put glass in the front then. So let's build the rest of this up. Uh, I'd like to go up one more, but I'm out of casing right now. So I'm going to make myself another two stacks of casing. Uh, can I make two stacks? I can. Right. Is it worth upgrading to two stacks right now? Because it's going to have to require to craft all this noctural powder and go through the whole uh, dielectric crafting inside of the actual energizer, which I don't necessarily want. Uh, what if I just do one stack? Do I have enough for everything to do that? I need to craft a little bit more. Actually, I'm just looking at it there now. Uh, I just requested another stack or two stacks of this stuff to be made. Why isn't that done yet? Oh, it needs to make more litharite interconnects. That's why it's taking a while. Right. Okay, so then while that's actually doing that then, let's make ourselves 32 of these. Should have everything for that. Uh, just needs to craft tree. Okay, that's fine. Let's just set that set up. We need to make ourselves uh, control rods. And I'm probably going to go in X pattern. So I'm going to need a total of... If the inside is too tall... Actually, let's go back over here and measure. So if we're going to have it this tall... It's actually... Is this the right size? One, two... Yeah, I'm going to have it one more tall. So it's a complete cube. So I need to put an X pattern in here uh, of it. So I'm going to need one, two... Three? Actually, do the control rods go on the top? Like a part of the outside frame? Or do they go on the inside? I think they're a part of the outside frame. So if that's the case, I just need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 of them, I think. Is that correct? It goes up 3 and I need 5. Yeah, so 15. I need 15 fuel rods and 5 um, control rods. So let's actually set up a crafting... Oh, I've already done that. Okay. So basic ones of those. Actually, how to upgrade to the reinforced ones? Oh, I can just go straight into reinforce. Okay, so there's no point even bothering making the basic ones then. So let's take all these out. Uh, just double check everything else. So this requires reactor casing. Um, this one requires that. Okay, so there's no point even having these in here. So let's start off with the reinforced controller. Like that. And then reinforced. Uh, I'm just actually realizing I don't think we actually have this uranium. Uh, maybe we do. Uh, just not sure. But anyway, so glass. So this glass goes in there like that. This makes reinforced. Then we need to make ourselves our control rod. So control rod reinforced. And then our solid access port re uh, reinforced. And our power tap reinforced. There we go. So now we can make ourselves our 15 of these. So reactor. So 15. And that's making them now. I need five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to need a, two solid access ports. I'm going to need one power tap, and I'm going to need one reinforced computer. Okay, I should have everything, I think, now to do it. So, uh, my options are to use an ender chest or set up a, a cable over there with a wireless network receiver to actually export out uranium into the thing. Uh, I'm probably going to go with an ender chest. So, if we look up ender, and I'm going to dye the thing green. So, ender chest, green, uh, so green ender chest... See, I should have a plenty of green dye in here somewhere. Or not. Did I use it all up? I think I must have used it all up. Um, Yeah, because there's actually one other thing I did set up. And I don't know if I already mentioned it. Um, I set up the cosmic anime dinner. All the recipe and all the foods ready for it. The only thing we don't have is the Uotarium Pearl. Which is something that we're going to have to set up once we get our Xerothium Interconnects. Which is a tier 8 Void Miner. So I'll have to wait until we get that. And I'm also going to have to try and make as much black iron blocks as I can in between episodes as well. Because even though we have everything to make it, it does take a long time to make it. So I just need one more ender chest. I'll just craft one quickly. It's no problem. And I'll throw away all the rest of this. And then let's put down the two of these here. And let's dye them all green. Hopefully there's nothing already been used in green. I don't think so anyway. Doesn't look like it. So all I have to do now is just pick up both of them. And then we need to set it up in here and start exporting out uranium. Uh, so let's see, where can I put this? I guess I could put it, like, right here. Put it right there and grab ourselves an exporter. Okay, so then just get some uranium. And put this on top. 
No, I said top, not the front. Top, there we go. And now just put the uranium in. And this thing will slowly start filling with uranium. And this should be able to power our reactor now. So, if we teleport over here or just fly. Wow, that's loud. Um, I might actually turn these off. Because there's actually no need for them realistically right now. Okay, that's, oh, that's so much better. Right, so in here now, we need to grab ourselves our reactor control rods and our fuel rods. So, put these in here, stack them up the tree. And then we need to put these on top, like that. And now we need to build up the top like that. And I don't know what kind of cooling I want inside. I could probably use either a liquid, which is probably a bucket of water. Or I could actually use some blocks. And I think I'm actually going to go with, like, emerald blocks. It says extreme rare, because this block or fluid could be used as a radiation modifier inside the reactor. Don't actually know if that means anything. Um, but we'll go with diamond blocks because I think these are the ones that worked definitely well before. Here we go. Now we just cover this up. And it looks like we're missing about nine more reactor frame. Uh, I've got not, uh, four basic. Let's see. So reactor. I need to make myself another nine. Right. So when that's crafting, let's grab ourselves a pipe. So we need a pipe wrench and an item wrench. Uh, I don't need any uh, upgrades or whatever. I'm just going to grab myself another ender chest. Okay. And right here, I'm going to put this guy right there. I'm going to open this. And this is where I'm going to put one of these ports. And then over here, I'm going to do the same. So open this. Port. Green under chest. Pipe. And I'm going to set this guy up to extract. And this guy over here is going to be set to extract. And uh, can I open this right now? Not enough controllers. Okay, I need to put everything else down first. So power tap. This will go on the back here. There we go. And all we need now is the other reactor casing. So, reactor. I have some? I do. Okay, perfect. So, hopefully this makes the full block. Yes. Okay, good. So, you can see it's filled now. Over here, set this guy up to eject mode. And he will eject out anything that is produced. So, all we have to do is turn it on. This thing will fly up with casing heat. That's fine. And it's producing... Eh, that's actually not that bad amount of power, about 3.5k. And uh, let's see, it keeps going up. But yeah, that's actually quite a bit of power. All right. Grab ourselves a plug. There we go. And at the back right here, we just put this on and say mains power input. Now, are you actually exporting out power or am I using the wrong port? This is the right thing. It is a, f a reactor passive forge energy power tap. Maybe it doesn't eject out into this plug manually. I need to use a p cable to actually pull it out first and then into the actual plug. Let's test that now. So put this on here. No. Do I need to use a configurator or some sort of wrench to modify this? To set it to an output maybe? I hope this is the right one. Because there is like this active version. Which might actually be the right one. I'm not entirely sure. Power tap. This is the right block, right? Redstone port. Uh, charging port. Let's try this one and see if this works. I, I'm, I could be wrong about these things. Let's try the this one. Oh, the power definitely went down to the cable that time. Uh, okay, so maybe... If I take off the cable, will the plug go onto it now? Okay, now it's outputting power. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, it's turned off. I was wondering why there was, like, no power being generated. All right, perfect. So now we just have to wait until it's produced a little bit of cyanide, um, which will appear in here. So this stuff right here, cyanide ingot, this is a byproduct. And once we actually... Oh, we can actually craft a seed of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So once we have made enough cyanide, like four ingots of it, we can set up a seed to, pr to produce it, meaning this reactor then would become obsolete. Uh, and I'm just... Making sure that I'm going to make sure this is all chunk loaded so it'll be all perfectly fine. And yeah. So let's just hope this thing produces one soon. And we should be good. Oh, we can have a look in here and you can see how much it says. Waste is about 200 millibuckets. Now, I don't know how much is counted as a, an actual ingot. I'm guessing it's the same as the other one, like 252. Or 250, I think, is like an ingot. But we'll see soon. Like, if this jumps down to zero once it hits 250, then we know that that's enough for an ingot. No, it didn't go down. Eject. Nope, manual eject didn't work. Uh, this thing is on auto eject, right? But it's on pull, so even if it comes out, it should be working fine. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's it then.
All right, after a bit of time, we have now got our four cyanide ingots. So using that then with the premium, so we just grab our four supremium and then we just need to get ourselves a seed. Uh, where are they? Let's see. Seed, seed. Where are my prosperity seeds? Oh, I think I'm actually all out of them. Um, I think I used them up making the dragon seeds. But anyway, so now if we come over here to our infusing altar, we can add all these ingredients. On. Oh, turn off my magnet there. So one, two. What? Oh, is my inventory glitched? Yep, of course it is. I think it glitched out when I picked up those uh, items. But anyway, one, two, three, and four. Put this in the center. And then one, two, three, and four. So off it goes. Jeez, that's loud cow milking. Uh, but this will then produce our cyanide seed any second now. There we go. Pick it up. And now we can let's just double check our inventory, make sure it's in a hotbar. Yes, it is. And we come all the way down here and we'll plant it. Now, where exactly do I want to plant it is the question. Um, let's see. I want to plant it near the edge here. So Aquamarine, let's get rid of that and then pick out that seed again. Aquamarine seed, just throw it down in the corner there. It's not that important. Anyway, so now we've got this one growing. So cyanide seed is growing. So once we have enough essence of that, we can make more cyanide ingots. And then with the cyanide ingots, we'll be able to make ourselves our ultimate ingot. So then here we have the singularity. And then here we're going to be preparing our ultimate ingot. And there's one more thing I think I need to set up, which was the Uutarium Pearl in the Ultimate Crafting Station then too. I think I actually made that crafting station. I did. Okay, so let's put that down too. Grab ourselves an exporter, or an importer, I should say. So import, so importer, and cable. I need a crafter. Uh, oh yeah, that's one other thing. Crafters have had a recipe change too. If we look in here, they now require this neural processor, which is made with a neural raw processor, which is... Processor binding, obsidian quartz, crafting table, and raw advanced processor and raw improved processors. So they're a little bit more difficult to make, but I've set up the auto craft for them already. It's all perfectly fine. So that'll just take a minute to craft. So our diamond crafter is done. I'm just grabbing out myself a diamond chest now for all the other parts. There we go. So diamond chest on top. Crafter go right here. And I'm actually going to need myself another cable. And that cable is going to go here. And that one's going to go there. And it's going to be set up to import. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I actually need this cable now because I need to give this crafting table a power now as well. So, I think that's it. So, this one's going to be set up the Ubuterium Pearl. I think you've already got the ultimate ingot ready. So, let's have a look here. So, Essence. We've got some Cyanide Essence. This will make us three Cyanide Ingots, nine of them. And uh, let's have a look now. So, if we like Ultimate Ingot, do we have everything? It says we do. So, let's request everything, which will go into this chest. And there's no recipe in here, so I won't pull anything out just yet. So hopefully everything gets put in. Hopefully that's everything. Now if we take it all out, open this, and then say ultimate ingot recipe. Let's see, how do I set this up? So this ultimate ingot, shift click to save the recipe, click it, and there we go. Request this, uh, and then put it into the system. Now if we just go home, just make sure it definitely craft it. Uh, okay, cra cancel that. But now we have the ultimate ingot. And can I craft another one? I can. So let's see. So we should get two of them. Let's go over to the other building and check. So all the ingredients should be put into here. It looks like it's already been taken out. Or not. Maybe it's still crafting the other components. Let's see in here what's it doing. Uh, ah, yes. Okay, so it's making the creative essence first. So if we have a look in here, we're making... Uh, that's crystalline. Let's take all these out because there are way too many items for that. Uh, but in here is the creative essence... Uh, singularity. Oh, no, you can see the ultimate ingots all been put in. And yes, so this is being auto crafted now. Done. Perfect. So now that is everything, nearly everything, except for the Uotarium Pearl. Once we have that, we should have everything that needs to be auto crafted in this ultimate crafting table. That needs to be automated. I might need to automate this one then as well. But I can't do that until I have an Uotarium Pearl. Um, so ultimate crafting. So, nope. Yes, uh, all these ones will craft manually. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it now. Uh, so how far off we are we getting a creative storage cell? Because we're nearly running out of space. I just had to make one more of the 16, 38, 40, uh, or 38, 4K ones. But if I have a look at that creative storage disk, which is this guy right here, do we actually have everything? You know what? 
We actually do. It's just I don't have enough of these storage parts. Should I make it right now? Or should I save it for next episode? I feel like I should probably make it now. Yeah, I think I will. Right, so we need to make ourselves what? How many of these things we need? So for this, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's six, seven. That's 12 of them. We need 12. Okay, so let's see if we can request 12. It says we can, so let's go. And let's give us some time to craft. Okay, all the parts are done. I'm just currently crafting 10 blocks of iron, or 16 blocks of black iron, so I can start working on making this Uterium Pearl. But now we should be able to make ourselves a create a storage disk. So if you look up storage and click on this guy, so create a storage disk, bookmark that quickly. So you can see we have everything except for some of the creative essence and ultimate ingots, but I can craft those now in a second. But the storage housing, let's craft like 64 of them. Oh, there's way too many of them. Uh, let's grab out the 12 of these. And all we need now is, what, four Supreme Ultimate Ingots? Okay, so let's look up Ingot. And we should have two of them already. So two Ultimate Ingots. Make us another two. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. And how much Creative Essence are we going to need? We're going to need six of that. Okay, so let's look up Essence and see if we can find Creative Essence. Oh my god, this play page is going crazy. Yeah, I can't click on that. Creative Essence needs to make us six. Um, we're missing insanium coal. Did I not set up a recipe for that? I thought I did. Oh, apparently I didn't. Oh, okay. Um, I I was really sure I did do that. Okay, let's put that over here. There we go. And uh, now if we look up creative essence and request six of it, should be able to craft it. Perfect. Now we just have to wait for that to finish. And just like that, we have our ultimate ingots now. So we should have all four of them. Now I should have my essence now as well. My creative essence. And I think that's actually it. So I need another crafting table. Uh, let's just grab a regular ultimate crafting. I should have everything to make that. Or not. Okay, apparently I don't. Uh, okay, let's just go over here and use one of the crafting tables. Maybe let's use one that we currently haven't got anything in yet. Uh, like this guy. So create a storage disk. Uh, oh, we need an ultimate singularity. Uh, so let's see. Singularity. Craft one of those, please. Should be able to craft it. We should have everything for it. And just take it out of there. Actually, that's going to... I might as well just leave it in there because that's going to glitch out the system then. And we should have it any second now. There we go. Ultimate singularity. Put that in here. Create a storage disk. And done. There we go. Creative storage. Oh, that's amazing now. Now I don't have to worry about storage at all. Like, it has infinite storage now. Great. Oh, that takes a load off without having to worry about filling up the system with uh, mining from the, all these di different dimensions. But anyway, that's pretty much it now for this episode. So let's go over here and I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>